21 year old Alistair Fisher is one of the most promising up and coming rally drivers to come out of Northern Ireland for years. After winning the first round of the Irish Fiesta Championship in Galway, he's now progressed onto a Group N car and is currently leading the Irish Tarmac Group N Championship, having already secured several other motorsporting titles. This weekend, Alistair and his team are going across the water to Yorkshire to compete in the last round of the British Rally Championship. This is the last round, so it's basically all to play for. Uh, we can finish in the top three in the British Championship, which is Alistair's first year in the British Championship, which would be a, a, a very good achievement. But, you know, he's in with, with people like uh, Mark Higgins, who has been a regular British Championship winner for the last number of years. So uh, to be able to, to get in and work at that level is a, is a big achievement. And he's come on leaps and bounds this year. And, uh, you know, we, we did a local rally a few weeks ago, the Lakeland Stages just as a bit of a warm-up for this rally and uh, he finished second overall in that rally so he has uh, really progressed this year. The car is a Mitsubishi, it's a Group N car uh, and it's four-wheel drive, it's turbocharged. The car is uh, a very good car, obviously we, we got, only got the car this year. Uh, the car would be on a par with any of, the, any of the rest of the cars that are in the championship. After competing in the Lakeland stages, the car had to be fixed up and fine-tuned so that it's in perfect racing condition for the weekend rally. Hoping to finish on the podium, Alistair is looking forward to getting behind the wheel. Here today we're hoping just to give the car a bit of a test. Because um, you want to make sure the car is working 100%, everything's alright, because you don't want to be arriving at the rally and perhaps the car breaking down on the first stage. It also gives me a chance to get some miles under my belt before the rally and get into the swing of things. Feeling in good shape, I've um, been training, training in the evenings and going to the gym so so far everything seems to be shaping up very well. I couldn't be fit because the days are very long during the rally as well as that your opportunities to eat sometimes aren't that good so you have to always be prepared and as well as that it's very important to be mentally fit because you're listening to pace notes, you have to concentrate on driving the car as well as taking in what's on the road in front of you. This track here is about two mile long, so we'll just do a few laps of it, um, just to make sure the car is all right. There's a good fast section around the back, and there's a couple of good corners, which will, should give me a good feel for the car. I hope it'll go well. Definitely, it's very important to get to the finish of all these rallies, so to, to begin with, that's the main aim. Fulfilling a lifelong ambition to get into a rally car, Alistair kindly let me be his co-driver for a lap. That is, if I could actually get into it. So first of all, how do you get into one of these cars? <laughs> Just step your leg over that bar. Right, the belly boots are rather dashing. <sighs> okay, so before we go out in this test drive, are you sure you want me to navigate beside you? Yeah, I'm sure you'll be alright. I know the, know the road quite well, so it should be fine. After a quick safety lesson, we were ready to go. So before Alistair gets ready to pack himself off to England, he has to go out on one final test run. Uh, are you ready for this? Yeah. Because I don't think I am. the car tried and tested and me giving it the final thumbs up, Alistair's now ready to rally. We'll catch up with him and his team next week to see how he got on. Ashton Hagen from Mana TV.